Welcome to our home. My name is Renee Potzer, my husband Troy Potzer, and our three girls. Every young family needs a will. We didn't have one until Troy was going to be going on a trip to New York City. We were both going to be going and uh, leaving our children behind and so we decided we need to have a plan in place if something were to happen to us. It was on one of the anniversaries of September 11 and of course going to New York City that made us think even more about that. And so we wanted to have a plan in place for guardianship if something were to happen to us. It wasn't that hard to do. We just called our local conference and they came out and met with us, went over our assets, went over what we needed to do for guardianship and helped us complete the paperwork. A lot of young families today may not think they need a will. Maybe they don't have a lot of assets. But there are other things that are important about having an estate plan in place. Most of us young people have digital lives. In the past, what a will covered was your physical life. It covered your house, it covered your land. Whereas now, a will can also cover your digital life. Traditionally, when you set up your will, it'll help you list your physical assets. But you also need to be concerned about your estate your virtual assets, things you may have online, passwords and those sort of things can be beneficial and want to be passed on to someone else. Anything stored on a digital device or in the cloud, you want to have on that list. It doesn't need to be in your will, but you can make a separate list that your will points to. Leave your representative the information that you need to to make the transaction easier. <laughs> Think about these four things. Does it have emotional or financial, personal or public value? If it does, it should be on this list. It used to be when we passed away, we had a shoebox full of photos that we would pass on to a loved one. Well, today, a lot of that is stored on your computer. Just because you're putting things in place for your estate plan doesn't mean something's gonna happen to you any sooner. It's just a good way of planning for your future. So why not put it in writing so you can remember your family, your church, and other charities you may be passionate about. Our family's legacy is pretty much online, so it's important that we share passwords. Online games, ebooks, domain names, software install keys, banking accounts, music, pictures, and Facebook. The next time you sign a service agreement, you may read it a little more intently to see what ends up being yours and what ends up being theirs at the time of your death. What if someone was wanting to write a biography about you, family member or friend, or one of your children, and they would want to have access to all the information they could, including emails that you may have sent to family members, friends, or your spouse. And if they didn't have the passwords to access those, they wouldn't have that added resource for compiling your life story. It feels good to have our will complete, and the conference was a great support in making that happen. Rather than having the state decide how things are handled for us, we have a plan in place that'll make sure our wishes are followed through. Contact the North Pacific Union Conference or your local conference trust officer for expert estate planning advice. You can find contact information at willplan.org.